a time to appreciate who we are, express what we're about, and discover what we can achieve. It's also a time to acknowledge the trailblazers, the pioneers, and the leaders who open doors and advance our society. This month, we celebrate the freedom to be proud of who we are. KTLA and Kaiser Permanente are honored to be a part of LGBTQ Plus Pride Month. Kaiser Permanente, celebrating pride and all that is you. Yes, it's what the dealers at Cerritos Auto Square say to more people looking to trade in their old car and trade up to a new one. Choose from the largest selection of vehicles and say yes to trading in your old car and trading up today. DDRV.com is California's largest RV location with a thousand RVs ready now. Summer Boredom Busters will have unique do-it-yourself craft to keep your kids busy all summer long. Tomorrow on the KTLA 5 Morning News at 11 a.m. Now at 5, the search continues for that lost submersible carrying five people as time and oxygen are running low. We have new updates from the U.S. Coast Guard. It's now the eighth, eighth week of the Hollywood's Rider strike, and today hundreds flooded the streets looking to stir up support. An L.A. City Council Committee has approved a proposed wildlife district ordinance, how the ordinance intends to protect our local animals from developments. The KTLA 5 News at 5 starts right now. And good evening. You are watching the KTLA 5 News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Paige Rivera. Thank you for joining us. Our top story, everyone's talking about this. Still no tangible sign of the mini-sub with five people aboard that vanished during a voyage to view the Titanic. An international battalion of search teams and equipment are scouring above and below the ocean surface where banging noises were picked up on sonar again today. KTLA 5 Sandra Mitchell is here in studio with late developments on the search. Sandy. Share right now, no indication what is causing those noises. The U.S. Coast Guard still insisting this is a search and rescue mission. But if there are survivors, the conditions for them likely getting a lot more challenging. They're probably running out of air, food, and water. Keep in mind they're in this confined space. It's cold and it's dark. All this, though, as the search intensifies. More aircraft, more ships, more focused in the search for the missing Titan submersible. An international team now is zeroing in on the area of the Atlantic where noises were heard yesterday and again today. The sounds picked up by buoys like this dropped by planes into the water. Crews initially described it as banging noises. We have a team of experts that are analyzing that data. That data was sent immediately to, uh, to the Navy uh, last night and it was analyzed overnight. They're still looking at it, but I can tell you that it's, it's inconclusive. Five being led by the U.S. Coast Guard, made up of an international team of experts, now searching an area twice the size of Connecticut. Uh, we have to hold out hope. Uh, I think, as you're aware, um, there's still life support uh, available on the submersible. And we'll continue to hold out hope until the very end. Although it now appears crews are running out of time, the Coast Guard says this is still a search and rescue and not a recovery effort. Sometimes we don't find what we're looking for. And you have to, you have to carefully consider uh, all of the factors. Sometimes you're, you're in a position where you have to make a tough decision. We're not there yet. The U.S. Coast Guard says if they do decide to call off the search and rescue, it would be a decision made by the entire team of experts, and they would make that determination only after consulting with the families of those still missing tonight. Sharon Pedro. All right, thank you, Sandy. We'll continue to follow that story. The Writers Guild strike has entered its eighth week, and hundreds descended upon the... has shut down some Hollywood production. On day 51 of the strike, the WGA shut down some city streets. Hey, hey, oh, oh. This is what brings me to stop the go. Hundreds of striking TV and movie writers, along with supporters, marching through the streets of Los Angeles. Now more than 50 days into this work stoppage, writer Kim Winslow says she's still very committed. You know, a strike is never easy. It's, it, we, we, we knew that it was going to be tough, but the resolve is very united. She marched with other Writers Guild members from Pan Pacific Park down Fairfax in a show of support for WGA and with the support of her household. 
been proud to bring my family here so they can see what mommy does and what we're doing and what this is all about. Now reaching the halfway point of the 2007-2008 strike that was 100 days, the WGA still fighting for higher pay and streaming residuals, but also mandatory staffing requirements and restrictions on artificial intelligence. You know, I think really for us, the, the sticking points are AI. We don't want to be replaced by artificial intelligence. They've been picketing daily at Hollywood Studios. They paused that today. For